One thing um, that I wanted to follow up on, because last week we talked fairly extensively about the CDC's release of, uh, of its mask guidance, um, and um, I wanted to follow up on that a little bit because um, I think largely the com most communities in the country have just totally stopped wearing masks, both indoors and outdoors. There are some exceptions. I mean, I've been to um, places where people are still wearing masks, um, and employees oftentimes are still wearing them, and I think it's a good idea to respect employees, and you can wear a mask too, because they don't know if you've been vaccinated or not, and that's the primary problem here, is that the CDC said if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask, but um, I, I, there's obviously a lot of unvaccinated people not wearing masks too. So there was an interesting analysis that was done this last week um, that I saw, which took um, our whole, you know, while our, all our communities, the rates of COVID are coming down. But if you factor out everyone who's been vaccinated, leaving only the unvaccinated people in the graph, so you take the vaccinated people out and you only have unvaccinated people left on the graft. The rate's actually going up and it's going up slowly. And so if you look at the transmission factors, it's what we call r naught in the epidemiology world, for vaccinated people r naught's way less than one, which means infections aren't spreading in that group. But in the unvaccinated, it has actually gone up and it's over three now which means that because of variants, COVID is now being transmitted in unvaccinated people at a faster rate than it was for the community at large back in January, which was the hardest time. So if you're unvaccinated, your risk has actually gone up in the last few weeks because the mask has come off. And so it's just something to think about um, so obviously it's a good reason to get a vaccine and it's also if you're not vaccinated if you've not had COVID before um, you don't want to wear your mask particularly indoors or we're doing things like going to the fitness center going to places where there's a lot of other people so just a word of advice um, for the unvaccinated group of people.